You know, by now, I would like to believe that you might have realized that majority of Christians, we tend to put everything in the spirit, put everything to God. God will do this. God is the one who's going to do this. I'm believing in God. Even when it comes to things that we also have to take responsibility. Hallelujah. And by the way, you're watching me for the first time. My name is Ishmael N and welcome to today's video in which I have a special message. You know, God always wants you to know. No, no, no. He's talking to us and it's a message to you. Hallelujah. Listen, as long as you don't use your head, as long as you are ignorant, there are some things that God won't be able to solve for you. But you yourself, you have to take action. Moses was instructed by his father-in-law when there was a time in which he was trying to help everyone at once. He was that the father-in-law was like, you will get exhausted. Why don't you appoint people who can assist you and big matters? That's when they're going to be taken unto you. So listen, you can hear from God. You can talk to God. But still be in situations which will exhaust you where you were supposed to use your head. That's why God gave you the brain. So now let's go to the why am I making this video when I talk about kingdom spouses. I'm talking about this in this video because most people, they find it difficult when they hear videos where it says that you must check this, you must test this person, you must wait for this long to make sure that they are the ones, blah, blah, blah. They feel like they are now living out of faith. They feel like if they just apply something, they observe and conclude yeah, they are not trusting so much in God. So to show that you trust in God, you believe that you just have to sit there. God will bring the one and then you get married. You're just sitting there. Listen, you are supposed to be intimate with that person. When you are fighting, you are the one who's supposed to calm down or calm them down and all these things. You're supposed to know how to keep love burning in a marriage. All these things are your responsibilities. Hallelujah. That's why it brings me into today's topic. That the people, normally, that's why worldly people at times, you find that they are the ones who they get married. They even last longer, sometimes even more than Christians. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. The people of the world, they are wiser than the people of the light. That's why even when it comes to dating, they would say most of the time, good guys will be complaining a lot. That why do these women love bad guys and stuff like that? Because those guys, they are not scared. They take their chances. And th even these church women, they end up falling for the guys who are not even in the church. And she'll be like, yeah, maybe it will change. That's what they do. But while the Christian man is scared. Hallelujah. So in this, I want to tell somebody, I want to talk to somebody. That when you're ordained, when somebody comes back into your life, because somebody will come back. And they complicate your life. You know you want to do things the right way. But you must not be scared to check somebody. And how do you do so? That is what I'm going to talk about here. Don't look at it as in like you are playing games. Don't look at it, at it as in like, ah, oh, no, I'm no longer believing. No, if God brings them back, it will be like, listen, listen. I'm going to even try to make more videos with regard to this. That's why there are marriage counselings. There are all these things where family come and talk to you both. That's because you cannot maintain your marriage by just praying. You are the one who's supposed to act, to be in action in that marriage. You must understand. So even when there are people who come back into your life only to hurt you, only to complicate your life, to waste your time, you are the one who's supposed to at times resist them. You are the one. Joseph was the one who ran away from Potiphar's wife. He did not make, wait for God to push her away. He ran. He ran from sinning. You are the one who's supposed to run away from a counterfeit. You are the one who's supposed to avoid getting wrong, married into the wrong marriage. Hallelujah. Listen, there are people who just come there to complicate your life. Someone from the past, 
an old spouse or someone who is supposed to be together and they broke your heart or they left but you kind of still love them there is a way you can check the person's intentions because i believe people will be going through this i even made uh, a video similar to this but i think this one is more advanced hallelujah perhaps if you always listen to my watch my videos you might have heard me talking about it and this is where here i want this is what exactly i want to talk about here that listen there are people who just come into your life just because they want one thing only you don't have the same purpose they're not looking at the future with you and while yourself you are ready to settle with them you have good intentions you want to get married but with them that is not what they want some you find that they just want to sleep with you some they only just want your finances one some they just all in all they just want to use you to put in simple and at some point you got to realize that you know what this person is not here for me and you decided to move on or they left you and you realize oh i was so full i was a fool and all those things but listen the enemy knows very well how to get to you he knows when you still care about somebody or he can check at least even if he's not that sure he can try to bring them back and let them back into your life so that you fall back those people who usually fall back to pizza and who was bad they are not doing it deliberately it's the love and the weakness or the soft spot that you have towards that person but one thing that you can do without a shadow of a doubt is to check if at times you feel like that person knocks you off your knees huh you can't help it maybe you believe what if god is the one because i prayed about it what if god is the one who's bringing this person back into my life there is always a way you can verify confirm for sure if that person is right for you hallelujah and in fact not to think of it i think it's a, one of my recent realizations or revelations whichever way you want to put it amen so listen to know for sure why somebody is back into your life you must learn to notice what made you uh maybe to love that person in the first place sometimes we don't commit or attach to people just because we're attaching but we are attached just because we are doing something for those people or for such a person if you're always a man is always providing money for a lady one way or another you will start even cherishing her more and loving her more to an extent that because you are losing something just like um i remember some people would say this they'll be like women when they sleep with a man they start loving him more and sometimes with these men when they're not doing things for them she starts feeling like he's using her when he doesn't want to spoil her she feels like he only calls her when he wants to sleep with her so what does this show she's investing so but when there is nothing that is being uh, exchanged at some point some people at some level they easily ah uh, don't care they easily lose interest and stuff like that so some of the things that attaches you is because that person keeps on just like men there are some men who go to women for money he's using her like he always asks money from her and she starts like and i've realized most of these women who does this they tend to love those men so much and they don't realize how but it's because somehow, somehow you are helping him and whenever you're doing something for him it makes you to fall more in love but if you are doing nothing you wouldn't care more but because it's like you're investing indirectly hallelujah so that's actually what happens so sometimes you get attached not and at times you realize that person is toxic they are using you but you tell me someone you feel like you can't help it why it's not because you really love them you have a soft spot because they are making you invest in directly and you don't realize but look at this now this is what i want you to do when that person comes back look at the things they used to demand from you if a lady i know that some christians who still does sex outside marriage they are there they're sneaking isn't it? so we cannot really hide from that that's why i want you to try something and you realize that that person is just wasting your time they're just using you they're just taking away you away from the presence of god try to refrain from giving him that one thing if it's like just enjoys does not ask for money but he likes sleeping with you refuse make him commit make him now one tell him that you want something serious you want you guys to get engaged 
to something like that and then you'll be like now let's withhold from this let us now try to rekindle our relationship without involving this thing because myself i don't want to sin before god and myself i'm aiming for something serious this time around isn't it that they'll be coming back into your life and acting like they want to be serious and they're aiming for marriage if that person was only one back for that one thing on you see before you know it maybe within a week or two realizing that you can't help it because but you are seeing you as an like an object a sex object that person is gonna ghost you again and if that person was black for money just like some women you find that she's only there for the money she will start asking for money and she does not talk anything about you spending time together getting to know each other better rebuilding your love and the moment the man says oh no now i can't she will run she won't even try to make time then you know that person was just there to waste your time so but if that person does not want anything from you but only wants you you alone to build to now make it work then somebody is back for real and somebody could have been brought back by god for sure hallelujah so test them like this and you realize the moment you don't provide for them those things you will less attached you will less realize you will most likely realize that you know what it's not like you really were into that person but they were using you and as a result it's like you felt like something was being taken away from you and as a result another result <laughs> you begin to some way somehow care so much when they leave you care so much when they run away because you are investing but they themselves they don't care because they are getting what they want and you're not taking anything from them hallelujah let me leave this message here praise the lord let me leave this message here before i complicate it but if it's for you i'm sure you're gonna understand it very better or very well in jesus mighty name and if indeed you watch this video to the very end comment with the word test just say test hallelujah that's all praise the lord may god help you in jesus mighty name and for prayer requests and spiritual advices dm me on my instagram or email me the details are on the description of the video below and as for me ishmael and your priest i will see you in the next video upload take care and stay blessed